Hi, Dave Wolf here, and welcome back to the firehouse. We're here today with our MC306 cargo tank model. We put these together to actually demonstrate and show the operating features of MC306 cargo tanks. These particular models are built with detail in mind when it comes to the, the, the construction features of the tank that will become important during the instruction of other emergency responders on how these things actually work, how they're put together, and why that, that those, those little factors matter when it comes to working one of these incidents. For example, in this one, we've demonstrated a double bulkhead, which will be in some MC-306 cargo tanks in order to separate compartments. Additionally, it has the weep holes that will be on the MC-306 uh, cargo tank when it does have a double bulkhead, both on the top and on the bottom. We have a fusible cap set up up here, along with the dome lid assembly as well. Down inside the tank further, where this is a double bulkhead, this is actually a baffle. What this baffle's purpose is, is to slow down the movement of liquid and also support the structure of the vessel. The dome lid assembly is set up to where you can open it. These are the actual dome lids that will be on MC-306 and similar type dome lids on 406 cargo tanks, where you can see the three pound vent, how the five pound vent works right inside of here with the spring operated system. Down here a little bit further, you can also see that you have part of the vapor recovery system along with the vapor recovery rail. As you can see by looking inside this tank, that there is a push rod between the internal valve and the vapor recovery system. So in other words, when, it emerges, when someone tries to unload this tank and they open up the internal valve, they will also open up the vapor recovery system, which makes information that you need to have when you're working this cargo tank in a rollover. On the end of this model, you can also see the, the remaining part of the vapor recovery system, which goes down here to where when the driver's at the gas station, he can hook, a, hook up his vapor recovery system. On the end, we have a control box, just like you have on MC-306 that's out there delivering gasoline to your, to your local service station. On the other side of this model, you can clearly see we have openings so students can view it from either side and view everything that we showed you on the other side. This is actually the product discharge part of our model. And if you look down below down here, you can see the, the internal valves, the, the emergency turn internal valve, the unloading lines, as well as the filling lines. This cargo tank model is available for purchase. For more information, please go to our website.